Hi there, welcome to this Data Science Dojo video series on learning R and basic programming for data science. This introduction to R video series will not only get you up to speed on R, but also programming 101 or programming foundations. It's intended for people with little to no background um, in programming or any experience in programming, so it's a gentle and efficient way to get you up to speed. Once you know how to make these commands in R, you're pretty much set to follow along the bootcamp without much struggle on the coding side of things. So if you haven't done so already, install R and R Studio. Uh, you can go to our tutorial site, you just see getting started video on the R section of this, installing R on Windows, OS X and Linux. So your first program you ever write in any programming language is your classic hello world uh, print statement here. Um, so we're basically going to create a variable name and assign or store a string value. So the words hello world to that variable and use the print function to print out the variable to what we just stored inside that variable. We will explain assigning variables, inputs into functions, what a string data type is and what is a variable further on the series. Um, but this is just to give you an idea of the core concepts of R and programming that you'll learn throughout the series. So let's start this basic hello world program from scratch. So to easily edit our code, we're going to open up a new R script file here and a panel will pop up for us to start uh, writing our code. We can also directly write our code uh, in this window here, but sometimes it's just easier to write code in a kind of controlled editor window. Any output after running our code will appear in the other window here. So we'll store hello world inside a variable. So let's give our variable a name and call this hello string. Now we need to store a string or tie that string to a variable. So we'll use this operator to tie it to a variable. And what we want to tie to that variable is the string of characters, hello world. Um, in programming, sometimes we read things backwards. So there's a data value here that we tie or assign to a variable here. We'll cover variables in more detail later on in the series. Uh, now we want to print our variables, so we'll use the print function for this. And inside this function, we feed it what we want to print, which is our variable that stores the string hello world. All right, so let's run these lines of code. Um, if you just place your cursor either at the end or the beginning of the line, um, or you can highlight it as well, and we'll just hit this run button here. Okay, great. It successfully output the string hello world. We have just coded our first program that prints hello world. In R, this is even more efficient because we don't even have to reuse the print function for this. We can just use the variable, like the variable name hello string, and it will print the output string. So I'll show you what I mean here. If we type hello world. Or hello string. And we hit run. We'll see it successfully also printed hello world. In the next video, we'll cover our main atomic data types.